our tale of the tape for this flyweight fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Hercules. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, so here he is, the former UFC flyweight champion, Brandon Moreno. And when we asked him in our fighter meeting about ways to win this fight, he talked a lot about the jab, but he also believes if this fight hits a transition and goes to the ground, he will have a decided advantage in the jiu-jitsu realm. Let us see if it plays out that way. All right, so we'll see if Brandon Moreno can get off to a good start tonight. He is a 5-2 player, but the jab would appear to be his weapon of choice here in the early game. And, and honestly, John, he's developed it even further as he has gone to Missouri to train. The guy is getting better. He does a good job of finding his range. He shorts the stance a little bit, so he's not so much in a boxing stance, but he is using that to defend leg kicks more effectively, but also still have the ability to go find that jab. Switching stances here. Moreno gets the early takedown. That did not take long. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going... Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to go out. Instead, he escapes and reverses. He didn't go out. He got out. Great job defensively by the fighter. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, now he bails on the submission. He's got to start going now. Setting up another submission. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. He's got off on now. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outside of the show in that defense. Inside leg kick is there by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Straight punch. It won't take many of those. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Oh, that was a big one there. Oh! Oh, big left hand! Oh, nice right hand. Not there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished. Oh, he's going again. Oh! Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, that's big. Oh. oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half-guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but but you just gotta find that push shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. You gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since they found his range. This could be trouble. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the... Oh, another one. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, and he locks up a triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shoot. Oh, how in the world 
that he escaped that submission. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. You gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. He's throwing every part of himself. Oh! Oh, he's in real trouble now. Lands a good combination. Final seconds here in round one. Second round, straight ahead. Well, DC, this is what the fans pay to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three knockdown rule, like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is, a, it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told them that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivered. You ready to fight? Ready. Two. All right, round two. Great block there. Try to establish that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Was able to get that right hand over the top and to the target. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, roundhouse kick. Nice jab by Brandon Moreno. High guard, and he gets that thing to the target quick. Gets to the target quick. And you can see the assassin baby starting to really feel himself right now. He has found his flow. He's in his groove. And like I said, that jab is what starts everything coming from the fighter from Mexico. Moreno's eye now closing up. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, nice elbow. Nice technique on the sidekick. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that would play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance in the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has... Oh! Back to the feet! Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he is... Oh, oh! Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It... Oh! He goes down again! Inside leg kick. Above the eye here. Nice job defensively there. Good work with the hips. He's got that jab working nicely done. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and 
really a guy who has been a monster in the gym. Oh, my God. He's going to do it. One. One. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hercules! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it's...